well, it's that time of year again for the Steam Summer Sale 2013. So the last few years, we've had these amazing sales in the summer and in the winter, and they have some amazing discounts. And a lot of times we buy games that, even though they're cheap, aren't necessarily good. And the cheapness is simply the reason we buy them, because we think, oh, it's 2 or $3, and why not? But since I haven't bought as many games recently, I still have some games that I think I want to recommend uh, that I've personally played. Uh, first of all, Chivalry. For the price, I think you should buy it. It was very frustrating on Source. They remade it on Unreal 3, and the game is amazing. I definitely recommend it for the price. Uh, I think I bought it when it was $25 or something, and I definitely thought it was worth the price for that. I don't really play it that much because even though it's much better than, than Source, I do find the gameplay sometimes quite annoying. Even when you're on a very low ping, uh, attacks just seem to not hit, and blocking seems to not work even when you perfectly time it. So gameplay is sometimes frustrating at the same time. It has a really interesting charm to it that I think uh, really makes it worth having. Next up I'd probably say is Just Cause 2. It's generally a game that you'd probably buy anyways just for the price, but Just Cause 2 and it is an amazing game. I think one of the first things you'll probably notice about it is the fact that it's like the quintessential open world game. It is an absolutely immense world, ranging from deserts to lush jungles to uh, arid uh, frozen peaks. And there's game there's gameplay elements from jumping a speedboat off a off a beach into a bunch of helicopters or something. All those things are possible in the game. Generally, even without any sort of mods or something, but the game is moddable. And that is also a very important part uh, to say. The game is very beautiful. It came out in, I believe it was 2010, I think. It is DirectX 10 only. It's not, I don't believe it's DirectX 11, but DirectX 10 only, which means you have to use Windows Vista at least. Windows 7 or Windows 8 obviously also are supported. Uh, but it's very well optimized. You can play it maxed out even on, you know, a card like a 4870 or something. Uh, at full frame rates even with anti-aliasing. There's also a multiplayer mod that's been in development for a long time with I think it was uh, J July of last year they finally um, got around to starting uh, these public tests and they've been doing them every couple of weeks ever since. They're very well populated. I, there's one coming up in six or seven days. Um, I'll put, put a link to that in the description. They're so much fun. It's like the one thought you had when you started playing Just Cause 2 was this definitely needs multiplayer. Now that there is multiplayer, you definitely need to get the game, even for three bucks, just to experience the multiplayer, which is a, a fan-made developed mod right now. Next up is probably Surgeon Simulator. This is a game that's kind of, it's fun, but it's kind of a gimmick. For the price, I, I, I think it's worth it to at least play it because I haven't played a game like it before. I think, uh, well, first of all, the game was developed simply as an entry to one of these two or three day contests to see what you can make in that amount of time. And even the test game kind of was very interesting and um, kind of a pr proof of concept. And now that they developed a game much more fleshed out with multiple kind of missions, you could say, it is interesting to play. It is fun, I say or I'd say, uh, there is, you know, time limits, there's time limits, there's certain statistics you want to do to maybe get a better run through in a way. Some people are doing like speed runs with it. So it's fun to do because of the silliness of the way the game is played. At the same time, don't play it assuming it's going to be this very full game. In fact, Just Cause 2 for $3 is way more of a game than Surgeon Simulator 2013 for $3.39. So I think both are worth the price, but Just Cause 2 is in a, a significantly higher value in that regard. Now I have played Fast Sun Light or FTL very briefly. I loved it when I did play it, um, and for $2.49 I would definitely recommend that. It's kind of a spaceship simulator. It's kind of randomized, but there's also these certain events that play through it. Again, I haven't played it that much. I would like to do a series on that on my gameplay channel. You, if you miss this sale, uh, it's also you can also get it on the FTO website. So this sale right now on Steam is going to run for the next roughly, f I guess the next 43 hours or so. It's going to be available for 24 hours starting uh, when the next sales go up. If you look down here, you can see the previous sales are still going. They have 21 hours to go. 
uh, FTL is available on the site right now for 249 if you want a DRM free version, but it also includes a Steam key. That's what I did. So I also have a DRM free version that I can play wherever I want, but also I have a Steam version for convenience. Uh, I would definitely recommend that. I have not played Anno, Anno 2070 or Darksiders or Sniper 2 or Fez or The Walking Dead, so I can't comment on those. But I've heard great things from The Walking Dead, Anno 2070, uh, and Darksiders. Going down here, I have not played Legend of Grimrock, Enemy Unknown, have not played it. However, Far Cry 3 is, for the price, for $24, I think it's worth it. Uh, it's a very interesting campaign. I've only gone a few hours into it, but the gameplay feels really refined. Do not, do not even think about Far Cry 2. This or this builds upon Far Cry 2 in every single way. It beats Far Cry 2 in every single way. It looks amazing. It plays really well, really well optimized. The guns feel really good. Movement is very interactive. It feels like a classic PC game to me. And it has bows and arrows and explosives. As for yesterday's deals, definitely get Hotline Miami for $2.50. Um, it is kind of this its extremely stylized game that really, it's really hard to explain. It's kind of like the, when you think about an 80s hyper-violent uh, movie, this is kind of like it boils everything down to the, the bare parts. It's a top-down... Uh, murder simulator you could say and by murder simulator I mean it's pretty much simulating how you would murder a huge amount of people in a building it's all about how you enter and exit rooms and how you plan out your attacks um, and try to you know it's, it's not a game about combos except you physically combo them it's not about button combos necessarily but the way you perhaps run into a room throw your knife and then pick up a shotgun and shoot somebody just in the way that you set that up makes for very interesting gameplay that has in some ways very good replay value because you can develop so many different ways to clear out a room. The game has an incredibly beautiful art style I think. The music captures that 80s style that I, it was a joy to play it. Definitely recommend it for $2.50. Uh, next up Bioshock Infinite. I bought it on a release with the season, <laughs> the season pass and I've gone about 30 minutes into it. I bought it at a time when I thought I was going to be doing a lot more content, um, so I thought it'd be worth it, and then I just I never got around to it due to lots of personal reasons. I think this this close after release, I think thirty dollars is definitely worth it for a game like that. The game is beautiful, voice acting is great, the story appears really good. I'll put a link in the description for some interesting videos about that. So the the story can be amazing or it could be horrible depending on who you ask. Um, that's really all I can say. The gameplay does feel really refined from the previous games. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2, it is, depending on who you ask, it could be better or worse than the original. I think it's worth having um, because it still is a pretty active game. I think for $5, it's kind of a game that everyone should have on hand in case their friends want to play. But it's kind of it's kind of a lukewarm thing. But for $5, I think it's worth uh, worth getting. As for the rest of the games, I have not played them. I've heard amazing things about Gunslinger. Uh, it definitely was uh, a much better game over Cartel from what I've picked up. I am planning on picking that up and maybe I'll do a video on it, but I have not touched Scribble Knots or Don't Starve or any of those, that, so I can't really comment on that. And I think that's roughly all I wanted to talk about. Um, I think so. Oh, um, so a couple other things. When you're going through the sale, if you see a game on a Daily D or a Flash sale, that means that game is not going to go cheaper ever. That's the cheapest it's going to be. So if you see a game you want on the flash sale, buy it then. Uh, if there's a game you want that isn't on a flash sale, wait till the last day. Because then you'll know if it was ever on a flash sale. Um, if you buy it on the regular sales, because they have you know 30, like 25 to 50% off almost on every game. And then the flash sales are deeper discounts. If you go through and buy a game that isn't on the flash sale or daily deal, and then it goes on flash sale, you still paid more than somebody who waited. So go ahead and wait to the last day if you don't see a game that you want on the flash, flash sale or daily deal. And then if it's not on the flash sale for the last day, then simply buy it then. 
because that way you know you got the cheapest price on Steam. There's also a color, couple other places doing their summer sales. I know notably uh, Amazon is doing it. I'm not sure if that's in every country, but they match Steam's prices for PC games. And uh, there's even a coupon code for it, which I might include in the description. Uh, outside of that, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. And I'll be doing one tomorrow just with what I think is, is a good buy. Um, I've never done something like this before, so excuse me. Anyways, uh, that's all I want to talk about, and I will see you later.